Hi, welcome to the Kony Data Panel video tutorial. Data Panel, a new feature in Kony Visualizer, helps you to discover, create, and map services to forms at design time without having to write any code. Kony App Platform offers Kony Visualizer to design the front end and Kony Fabric the middleware to create services and connect to different back end systems. Data Panel allows you to create and connect to services from within Visualizer. You can connect different backends and map the data to visual elements on a form without having to write code. In Visualizer, using the Data Panel, you can discover a sample service and map it to visual elements, create a custom service and map it to visual elements, discover an existing service and map it to visual elements. In this video, we will create an end-to-end -end employee list mobile application, which allows a user to log into the app, discover a list of employees, and create new employee records. The app will be connected to a Salesforce system for authentication, fetching data, and pushing the data to the back end. This app can be created using four simple steps. 1. Prepare the login form. 2. Prepare the employee list form. 3. Prepare the employee entry form. 4. Customize the UI for a better look and feel. We will walk you through these steps one by one. Let's start with preparing the login form. In this section, we will create a simple form and add a newly configured identity service to it to enable logging in to the application. Create a new application in Kony Visualizer and name it Employee List. Create a new form and rename it FRM Login. From the top right of Visualizer, open Data Panel. From Project Services, click Configure New. From the options that appear, select Salesforce from the Authentication column. In the page that appears, configure your Salesforce Identity Service by providing the service name, client ID, and client secret. Once you have configured your services, save and close the page. The new Salesforce service that you created appears under Project Services. Drag and drop the login service to the FRM login form. You will observe that the UI for the login screen is auto-generated on the form. The first step, prepare the login form, is now complete. Now, let us go to the second step, prepare the employee list form. In this step, we will create a form and add the get operation of a newly configured object service to the form. Simultaneously, the UI of the form will be auto-generated. Create a new form and rename it FRM Employee List. From the top right of Visualizer, open Data Panel. From Project Services, click Configure New. From the options that appear, select Salesforce. In the page that appears, configure your Salesforce object service. During the process of selecting an authentication, select the identity service that you created earlier. Click Save and Configure to proceed with creating your object service. In the next page that appears, click Generate. A login screen appears. Enter your Salesforce credentials to log in. Once you log in, the available object services appear. Select Employee C Object. Save and Close. Notice that a new service is added under Project Services. Drag and drop the newly created service onto the FRM employee list form. Select the list using response option provided in the dialog box. After the drag and drop, you will observe that the UI for the list page is auto-generated with a segment widget placed on the form. In Data Panel, notice that a View Mapping button appears next to the object service. Click View Mapping to open the Mapping Editor. In the Mapping Editor, you can observe that the generated labels in the segment are mapped to appropriate fields in the response. Now, let's get back to wiring the two forms we just created for smooth navigation in the app. In Project Services, expand the Identity Service. Notice the View Mapping button on the right side of the Employee Login Service. Click View Mapping. The Mapping Editor appears. The Mapping Editor contains success and failure callbacks. For the success callback, add the Navigate to Form action and associate the FRM employee list form to it. For the failure callback, add a code snippet to display the login failed alert. 
With the completion of the first two steps, we can now preview the app using the Live Preview option in Visualizer. From the main menu, go to Build and then select Live Preview Settings. In the Live Preview Settings window, select the appropriate channel and platforms and click on Save and Run. Launch the Visualizer App Viewer app on your mobile and scan the QR code to launch the app. You can see the login form. Once you enter the credentials, you can observe the basic list form with data populated from the back end. Now, let's move to the third step, which is to prepare the employee entry form. In this step, we will create a form and add the post operation from the existing object service to the form. When the operation is executed, the UI of the form will be auto-generated. Create a new form and rename it FRM Create Employee. From the top right of Visualizer, open Data Panel. From Project Services, expand Objects, Employee Object, and then Employee C. You can see the Create operation for the service. Drag the Create operation onto the form FRM Create Employee. From the options that appear, for request, select the Type Entry Form. You will see that the UI for adding employee data is automatically created on the form. This UI contains a label, text box, calendar, and switch widgets corresponding to fields in the backend schema. Now, let us add navigation from the List Form to the Create Form. In the Project Explorer, navigate to FRM Employee List. Drag the rounded floating button from the Visualizer Asset Library onto the form. Rearrange the button to place it at the bottom right corner of the screen. From the Properties panel, select the Action tab and click on the Edit button corresponding to the on-click event. In the Action Editor, add the Navigate to Form action and associate the FRM Create Employee form to it. Similarly, when the employee details are successfully added to the database, we need the app to navigate back to the list page. For that, in Data Panel, under the Employee List Service, for the Create Operation, click View Mappings. The Mapping Editor appears. For the Success Callback, add the Navigate to Form action and associate the FRM Employee List form to it. Now that we have completed all action items required to complete the flow of the application, let us move on to the last step, customizing the UI of the app. In this step, we will remove the unnecessary widgets from the list form as well as the create form. We will alter the font size and font weights for the label to enhance the look of the app. Also, we will add headers to the screens for improving usability. Open the form, the FRM employee list, hide unwanted fields such as date, created by, and so on. For the employee name, email, and designation fields, change the font weight and style by using the Skin option in Visualizer Canvas. From Visualizer Assets Library, drag the header bar onto the form. Change the form's layout type to Flow Vertical and rearrange the items in the Project Navigator to bring the header bar to the top of the screen. Similarly, in the FRM Create Employee form, Hide unwanted fields such as created by, last modified by, and so on. For the remaining fields, add borders for the text boxes using the Skin tab in the Properties panel. From Visualizer Assets Library, drag the header bar onto the form. Change the form's layout type to Flow Vertical and rearrange the items in the Project Navigator to bring the header bar to the top of the screen. Select the Back button on the left side of the header bar. On the Properties panel, select the Action tab and click on the Edit button corresponding to the on-click event. On the Action Editor, add the Navigate to Form action and associate the FRM Employee List form to it. This will help in leaving the Create Employee form without creating a new employee record. With the above, we have completed the app functionalities and taken care of the UI as well as usability improvements. Now. Let us run the application. From the main menu, go to Build. Select Live Preview Settings. In the Live Preview Settings window, select the appropriate channel and platforms and click on Save and Run. Launch the Visualizer App Viewer app on your mobile 
and scan the QR code to launch the app. Notice the customized employee list with modified UI. The employee list is fetched from a Salesforce object service, guarded with Salesforce identity as an endpoint. The create form can also be accessed by tapping on the floating button on the landing screen. Upon filling in the new employee details, the same is added to the employee list and reflected. Let us recap what we did in this video. We successfully created an employee list mobile app and covered the following cases. Introduction to Data Panel Preparing a simple employee list application using the Data Panel Consuming an identity service in a form using the Data Panel Consuming a get operation of an object service in a form using the Data Panel Consuming a post operation of an object service in a form using the Data Panel Using Mapping Editor Apart from the above, one can also accomplish the following tasks using the data panel. Consuming update and delete operations of an object service. Consuming integration services. For further information on data panel and other features in Kony Visualizer, visit our Basecamp at basecamp.kony.com.